Welcome back, everybody, for some more Trajan. We started things off with Legates and Legions yesterday, as you're seeing this. And, wow, that is pretty interesting going here into AOE 1. So let's see what's going to be going on with the Roman repute. Domitian's successor was a good man, but a poor ruler. He shared my loyalty to Rome and sought to reverse the damage that Domitian's folly had done. With no sons to pass the mantle to, Emperor Nerva named me as his heir before striding on into the afterlife after two short years on the throne. The immense honor of steering the might of Rome is matched only by the weight of its responsibility. I am a general, not a senator. My mind is built for the straightforwardness of the battlefield, not the intricacies of politics. I can, and I must, learn to be a politician. But in the meanwhile, I should play to my strengths. The divided Roman people need a common enemy. And I will give them that. North of the Danube lies Dacia, a barbarous kingdom, but one also rich in gold and silver. Its wily king, Decabalus, once played Domitian for a fool, negotiating an unfavorable treaty that tarnished Roman imperial repute. My loyal cousin, Hadrian, will join me on this campaign and learn from my example. I will unite the Roman take vengeance on a haughty foe, and enrich our struggling economy all in one fell swoop. Is that the Hadrian I named a wall after myself guy? There we go. Audio is uh, back. Defeat Dec Decibolus. Decibolus. We're restricted to a pop limit of 50. Many units, buildings, and technologies are unavailable to you. You must seize what you can from the enemy. Though your forces are divided from Hadrian's, you are codependent. Any resources that you loot will swell his stockpiles as well, and any technologies that he researches will improve your units too. Be swift and decisive with your attacks. Delay too long and your enemies will overwhelm you with their superior numbers and supplies. Uh, the logistics technology halves the population cost of barracks units, allowing you to field double the number of swordsmen. Trajan leads an army into Dacia from the southwest. Trajan's confidant Hadrian attacks Dacia from the southeast with an army of infantry and mounted units. Uh, several Dacian villages are dot dotting the countryside. They have resources but are poorly defended. King Decibalus of Dacia controls a fortress to the north. He will initially concentrate on Hadrian, but his infantry and archers may torn turn towards Trajan if the Roman raids get out of hand. The Dacian army is scattered about the region, operating out of several small bases, and we have to deal with them. Emperor, I will hold the line in the east, but you must rob the enemy's will to fight before I am overwhelmed. Okay. Keep our army supplied with loot, and my technicians will our weaponry. Got some cav and some short swordsmen. Okay, so I guess this is like we get resources by raiding, and then we can use those to train units to get more resources to train more units, and so on and so on until we Look get out. to uh, the Sabalus. I guess this market here is to trade. Check out Hadrian's village. I'll look at this guy and his walls. Very nice. They research metalworking for me. Why are you getting stuck? All right. Uh, no gold. For the war effort. Guess we have to take down the tower. That is okay. It has 222 HP. Oh yeah, new Civ. Um, what are they? The Macedonians? Yep. Uh, what are they all about? Infantry civilization. All non-range units gain plus two line of sights. Academy units gain extra pierce armor. Siege workshop units cost less. 
So they get extra pierce armor, line of sight, cheaper siege, and they're more resistant to conversion. So very military oriented Civ for sure. Uh, I guess their hoplites and whatnot would be really good with their extra armor. And then like go hoplite siege, that sounds quite strong. Sounds good. Uh, we'll be playing them later on in the Pyrrhus of Epirus campaign. Buildings to train more soldiers. All right. Now they did say to be aggressive, so we're gonna try and do that. We're also not we're gonna try and not be so aggressive that we lose all our units and we have very limited ways of replenishing them. It's a difficult balance to strike. Anyway, we'll go for a swordsman, just like in the last scenario. Yeah, I have, I guess the market to balance out the eco is needed. I have received my share of the loot. We will put it towards the war effort. For the war effort. Okay, we have a broad swordsman now. Thomas. Thomas. My favorite Metroid character is Samus. I mean, to be fair, there's not much else we can train. We could train Axemen, which are terrible. Uh, unless you're playing multiplayer. From my understanding, the AoE 1 multiplayer is just all about the uh, stone and tool ages. The first two ages. You don't really ever see the late game. Domitian tried to defeat me once before. Let us oh, look at that guy's hat. Is that the hat of a good ruler? I don't think so. Alright, this should be a good amount to go forward with. How's our ally doing? Hadrian? Alright, they do have a lot of archers, which are going to be good against our infantry units. We do have plus one pierce armor since they researched... Bronze Shield, I think it's called. Anyway, it looks like we're getting a stable and an archery range and a dock. To train fishing ships, that'd be sick. Get a little bit of permanent income. Okay, so yeah, towers actually have pierce armor. Most buildings don't seem to have any armor. Alrighty. Oh. Train more soldiers. Wait. Yeah. With these ships, we can send men to assist our allies. Oh. Okay. Can scout around with our ships. Uh. Don't need merchant ships. Don't need other navy stuff. Oh. I never set dock hotkeys. Evidently. Anyway, we'll get some bowmen and some cav. Malay! What's one of the most improved civs after the April patch? Malay! Oh. Anyway, we'll definitely go ahead and get some of you guys uh this place has a seed that's a siege workshop i don't know what those two buildings are we're still learning also it's weird how the bowmen and the improved bowmen are different units entirely like, this is just kind of a trash unit, and this one is like an actual archer. Oh, maybe the, one of these is a government center. So I can get... What is it? Oh, gotta be careful. Yeah, their blast radius is quite small, but they do a lot of damage within it. 
Oh yeah, but those are full-on hoplites. Those guys are really strong. Well, our improved bowmen aren't actually very good. We don't really have any upgrades. I mean, Romans have really bad bowmen, don't they? Oh! Oh man, this is like literally the worst archery range possible. Yeah, this might actually be the worst archery range. Need more soldiers. All right, so we can add in our hoplites. Okay, here's the government center. Okay, we'll definitely research logistics. Okay, uh, let's stop with the archers. Those guys aren't really doing a whole lot. Oh yeah, we can get some siege units. That'll be helpful. And do I focus on cavalry? I mean, they're definitely not bad. But I just don't know if I really want to upgrade them a bunch. Although I do have another stable over here, so maybe it's worthwhile. Food. We can use these buildings to train more soldiers. All right. I assume we can't actually get over here. Oh yeah, scouting. Also adding in more fish. Whoops. Need to set those hockeys. Need to remember to do that in between uh, scenarios. I guess we can get nobility. Yeah, these guys actually, I think, have bonus damage versus infantry. The Thacian army is over here. Okay, there's another storage pet. is really small. These aren't mangonels, that's for sure. But they are very long range. Do they hit my units here? Yes, they do. Okay, so that is kind of like an AOE 2 bombard cannon. I have received my share of the loot. We will put it towards the war For the war effort. So Romans are still the pillages that they have always You know it. I will personally kill you with your hat. Oh, here's another siege workshop, and I think a couple more barracks. Okay, yeah, that's all very good. Okay, there's another storage pit over here. Can use these buildings to train more soldiers! Get more swordsmen, more and stone throwers. Trajan. I have received my share of the loot. We will put it towards the war. Got a lot of resources. Just scout the map, make sure we see as much as possible. Now, these are transport ships, so I could send units all over the place. But that feels a little extra. Oh, uh, what's this again? All buildings. Okay, so not units. Well, go ahead and start stone throwing away. So our 
Dark Guard Tower, so they are a little bit stronger. Hold the fortress with your lives and cover my retreat. Lots of swordsmen. They are supposed to be aggressive, so we'll try and keep this up for sure. I like that we have our uh, not mangonels in the back. But we are losing a lot of units here. Those are heavy swords. Oh, they're in the uh, the Iron Age. Ooh. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. everything. These guys have like no pierce armor, so we can't even rely on that. Phalangite. Oh, man. Um... My men have made a major break. Wait, what? With this new weapon, we will crush Stacia. Oh! Uh... That's... Wait, you're stuck. You are super stuck. Oh, we can get ballistas now. Oh, those are going to be really good. Okay, long swords in, then we need to get all the way up to legionaries. Oh, wait, that's... Oh. Alright, need to change more hotkeys after this. Need to remember to do that. 1400. Okay, we can get legionaries. I believe in us. We'll go legionary plus ballista. Because I think ballistas in this game are kind of. I mean, they're like powerful single shot, but they're also not bad against buildings. Seem pretty sick. Okay, the fact that we could get to Iron Age, though, is, is huge. True if big. Okay, we have the same range. That's pretty wild. Uh, we are kind of running out of resources, though. Still, once... Once we get legionaries, then we'll be cooking. Here we are, legionaries. These guys have all the stats. Okay, these archers are annoying. Doing it like they were the AOE2 Romans. Oops. Yeah, this 
He's just adding in the damage from the back. It's giving us some extra pierce armor. All right, now we're looking over on him. But this is like we're just running out of resources. So this is tough, at least for me, who doesn't know anything about AoE 1. But yeah, this Roman infantry is real good, and that's for sure. And so are our ballistas. These aren't even fully upgraded. Uh, these are Henry. Yeah, this is basically an irreplaceable army for me. Oh my goodness. Wow, I didn't expect us already being uh, put to it. I keep on thinking they have pierce armor. Oh man, they need the AoE 2 Roman bonus for the Scorpion's benefit from ballistics. Okay, wait, how is Hadrian doing? I've like not been checking in on him. You doing okay there, Hadrian? Building your walls and stuff. Okay. It's an academy and a barracks. That's actually the town center. But right now it's like Dacia, more like Lamia. Yeah. There we go. Got him. Cool, cool. Let me up the volume. Peace between Dacia and Rome was the story of one man's panic and another's bluff. As this the capitalist saw guys. my legions thrust into his realm and capture his sister, he must have feared that the end was near. Yeah, because your hat looks like a condom. Yet my imperious tone and stern demands during the negotiations were a mere facade. With only a few legions on the front, I knew in my heart that I lacked the strength to overthrow the capitalist today. But he did not. For now, the con man has been beaten at his own game. But I know better than to trust a cornered wolf. As we march home after a draining campaign, I have tasked my best architects with building a bridge across the Danube into Dacia. If the Cabalus shows even a hint of treachery, my legions will now have a direct route to his front door. Very prudent ruling. All right, we had a good KD. Hadrian was doing his best. Uh, we'll give him that. Let's see if I missed anything on the map. Doesn't really look like it. 
No real Easter eggs. A lot of the map is covered by mountain. You know, we just have to fight our way up over here, and then Hadrian's fighting his way up over here. But yeah, that was a fun scenario, for sure. We could at least add in a little bit of our own fishing eco, so it wasn't, like, completely hopeless. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed Roman Repute. Next up will be Heads Will Roll, and I'll see you guys next time for that one.